Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump announces $60 million cut to Democrat Holy Grail. They'll never recover. Recently, President Trump announced that he plans to cut taxpayer funding from Planned Parenthood and other abortion facilities. Americans are thrilled over the prospect. Instead of abortions, the money could be used for so many good, life-affirming things. Last week, the proposal became official. The Trump administration released a statement that explains the proposed rule that will go into effect after a 60-day waiting period, as is standard. Democrats better tighten their belts, because here comes a one-two to their holy grail of abortion. The proposal will strip Planned Parenthood of approximately $60 million in annual Title X taxpayer dollars. Title X was enacted by Congress in 1970 to provide federal tax dollars for family planning, but ban funding for abortion. I can hear the wailing and gnashing of leftist teeth already. None of the funds appropriated under this title shall be used in programs where abortion is a method of family planning, the law states. Under the new rules, Title X projects will no longer be allowed to refer women for abortions. If an organization receives family planning funding, they will also be required to keep facilities where abortions are committed separate from facilities where family planning care is provided. This is something that Planned Parenthood has refused to do in the past. That's because they wanted to keep the funding fungible. That means that government funds can float between departments and Planned Parenthood can claim they are not used for abortions, even when they are. The Supreme Court upheld the Reagan regulations in 1991 in Rust v. Sullivan, but when pro-abortion President Bill Clinton took office, he reversed them. Recently, almost 200 lawmakers sent a letter to Alex Cesar, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, urging that the Reagan regulations be put back into place, albeit without prohibiting counseling for abortion. Live Action had this to say about the new regulations. Unlike the Reagan regulation, the proposal will not prohibit counseling for clients about abortion, but neither will it include the current, potentially illegal mandate that projects must counsel and refer for abortion, a Trump administration official said. This proposal does not necessarily defund Planned Parenthood, as long as they're willing to disentangle taxpayer funds from abortion as a method of family planning, which is required by the Title X law. Any grantees that perform, support, or refer for abortion have a choice, disentangle themselves from abortion or fund their activities with privately raised funds. The proposal will also mandate Title X recipients to follow state and local laws on sexual abuse reporting, something that is a critical issue for Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood has repeatedly been caught covering up child RE and SX trafficking, systematically breaking the law by refusing to notify authorities of statutory RE and suspected human trafficking. Time after time, Planned Parenthood behaves as if it is above the law, even at the expense of children who have been RD and trafficked. Now, in order to receive Title X funds, organizations will have to prove that they are complying with laws regarding child abuse. Title X projects shall comply with all state and local laws requiring notification or reporting of child abuse, child molestation, sexual abuse, RE, incest, intimate partner violence, or human trafficking, collectively state notification laws, the proposal declares. It also mandates that organizations receiving funds will have to provide stringent documentation in multiple areas to prove that they are not breaking any laws. The Susan B. Anthony List noted in a press release, the Protect Life rule will fulfill a campaign promise made by President Trump to stop taxpayer funding of abortion businesses like Planned Parenthood. And, will direct tax dollars to Title X centers that do not promote or perform abortions. Similar regulations were upheld by the Supreme Court in 1991 in Rust v. Sullivan, 500 U.S. 173. SBA List President Marjorie Dannenfelser noted that Planned Parenthood is responsible for more than 300,000 abortions a year and has been receiving $50 to $60 million in Title X taxpayer funds annually. 153 members of the House of Representatives put the new proposal in place. They sent a letter in April that requested new regulations be implemented regarding Title X. You can bet the majority of them were not Democrats. Since Planned Parenthood and abortion are such a staple of the Democratic platform. They may never recover from this. But they will try and get their hands on it should another Democrat come into power, trust me. Right now, Planned Parenthood receives half a billion dollars in taxpayer funding every year. That's obscene. They carry out more than 300,000 abortions a year, which in my book, constitutes genocide of the unborn. The approximately $60 million in annual Title X funding that Planned Parenthood stands to lose will be redirected to comprehensive health care clinics. These are legitimate healthcare providers that do not conduct abortions.
they vastly outnumber Planned Parenthood clinics. He American people exactly what they want. It helps redirect money towards legitimate health care providers as opposed to abortion clinics. It at least puts a dent into the left's culture of DH. The overwhelming majority of Americans oppose taxpayer-funded abortions. They view them as immoral. I certainly do and none of us approves of having our hard-earned money used to slaughter the unborn and the newly born. This proposal from the Trump administration, despite shrieking and snarling from the abortion industry, is giving the American people exactly what they want. It helps redirect money towards legitimate health care providers as opposed to abortion clinics. It at least puts a dent into the left's culture of DH. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.